from Artistry by Susan. And I'm going to show you guys a bloom swipe technique and also a bloom technique. One from Shelly Art and her course is amazing. So I recommend taking that. Also, I took a course with Karen Derisham and I love the technique she taught and it really helped me a lot. So I've been an artist for many years in all kinds of mediums, but fluid art is a little bit different. So I definitely would suggest taking their, their course. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. Hi there, everyone. So let's get started. We're going to mix up three cell activators. So this one already mixed up about like a week or so ago. This is a white cell activator. It's titanium white with Floetrol. And I'm gonna be using a two and a half part Floetrol to one part paint. So then I'm gonna mix, this is lamp black. And then this one is paint gray by Amsterdam Paint for my black um, cell activator. So that will go into this bottle. And then I'm going to also do a uh, quinacridone nickel azel gold. So that one is something that I'm going to be trying to use, to use with the Floetrol. So let's get started. So let's do the quinacridone first. Okay, first remember to shake up your Floetrol. This is Australian Floetrol. All right, remember our white's already done, so I'm gonna move that out of the way. Okay, good, I gave it a good shaking. So, let's add in our paint. So this is the Quinac Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold by Golden. So I'm gonna actually put about, let's see, Okay, this is not gonna work, dripping it in there. I'm gonna just pour it. Okay. Let's see how steady my hand is, guys. So that's about 10 cc's of that paint. So that means I will add in 20, 30, to like 35 of Floetrol. Okay. still 30 and these bottles I got from the Floyd Art Co and they actually marked which is really good just want to add a little drip more in there okay it's still at 30 so I think I'm gonna take it to All right, perfect. So that's done. All right, now I'm gonna give it this a good shaking up. So just keep shaking it, guys, to mix that thoroughly. You wanna make sure mix the paint in with the flow troll really well. For it to settle, then I'll check the consistency of it. Okay. All right. Now let's do our lamp black. I'm going to mix some paints gray into this one, though. Ooh, this one was getting stuck. 
I'm just gonna add this to this. That is Payne's Gray. And two paints are a little thicker, so I think I'm just gonna add that, add a touch of the black in there. Okay. Okay, and those should be done. Now I'm gonna add in the flow trawl again. I'm just gonna shake it up again. Okay, this is now up to, what is that? I can't see. Let's shake it up and then I should be able to see it a little better. Okay, I'm gonna add in a little bit more. Okay, I think that's gonna be it. I'm gonna have to test it. Because with this one, I could not really see. I said, give it a good shaking, guys. And then we're going to let it settle. I could already see this one is at 35 cc's is in this bottle of the quinacridone. And the black, oh, you, you can't see a thing on this one, guys. I'm going to just let it sit and let it settle. So with that, I'm gonna, these are the three cell activators I'm gonna use. Almost looks like Halloween colors. We'll see how it pans out. So thanks for watching how to mix up the flow trawl. Hi again, everyone. So I'm back. I'm gonna be using TLP Hammerhead. Latte by TLP and Afterglow, which is, I think, the summer collection. I'm gonna be using Golden Iridescent Bright Gold. That's a liquid. And Persian Blue. Okay, and then for my pillow, let me just grab that here. I'm gonna be using, sorry, I'm off camera right now at the moment. I'm gonna be using Glidden Eggshell Premium Interior Paint. So I'm gonna pour my pillow. Okay, good. Okay, put that to drain. I'm gonna just put a little edge out here, guys. And this again is the 16 inch round. So I'm just giving it a little edge. Just brushing this out. bit more all out on the brush here. Once 
and this is good I have it on my my turner okay good all right now I have my swiper this is a spatula from fluid art and I have three different sides I have that size which is a spin swipe and then I have these little pie shaped ones okay so first thing I'm gonna put down okay this is my Persian blue and then the gold I think I'm gonna put the gold first guys I'm just putting it in any random order. Okay. Okay, that's the gold. I think I want the hammerhead next. Maybe then add a little bit more hammerhead. And I think I'm going to put the brulee. This is the afterglow. Let's see how this will pad out on it. That actually is pretty. I really like this afterglow. It's very pretty. All right. Let me add on the top now. A little bit of the Parisian blue. I think I want a little bit more. Okay, and I think I'm gonna end up with last the gold on the top again. I'll just pour it. It's, it's coming up pretty stringy, and I want it to be a little bit thicker. Okay. Now, I'm going to add the cell activators. I'm going to put a little bit of the azel and a little bit of the white as well. And last but not least, I'm going to add some of the black. If I can get it out the bottle. <laughs> okay. So this is our cell activator I'm going to be using. I'll just kind of wait now, let those cells develop. And it's coming up pretty nice. Just give it a little patience. 
Give it a little patience. Okay, I think I'm gonna get, go another go at it. I'm gonna wipe off my, I'm gonna add a little black activator. Add a little more orange this time. Just mix it around. Oh my God, look at the cells, guys. This is so beautiful. I'm gonna give it a little spin too. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit here. So now, let's see what I'm gonna do with some of this. Let me just add, pull out some of the colors. Just move this a little bit more. Okay, let's see. I think I have a little more paint here. Let me give it a spin. Okay, guys, look at that. Now I think I want to go in a little bit here. Okay. Let me try to spin the other way. And I'll move this out a little bit as well. Okay, let's go the other way. Okay, I think now at this point, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna tilt it a little bit. Let's move down a little bit of the color. And I'm gonna go back in here. I like what's going on in here. coming out amazing guys okay I need that back up on here to the center okay just a little tilt off the edge there A little bit back in the center. Okay, this is looking absolutely lovely. But now I need, I wanna make a little swirl in here. Okay, and this is to have a swirl in there. This, I think I'm going to spin around to me and add in another little swirl here. That looks absolutely beautiful, guys. Okay, I need a little tiny bit more off on this edge. 
Okay, let's see if I can push this to the edge just a little bit. More a tiny little bit. Okay. Let's see if I can get that back down to the center there. Okay, that is looking marvelous, marvelous. Okay, what do you guys think so far? Okay, I want a little bit of you. And a little bit of you. Okay, and a little bit of you. And a little bit of you over there. This is so gorgeous, guys. You gotta see this. It is absolutely, I'm gonna slide a little closer into the frame that you guys can see. Wow. I think I need to do something here, though. I need to get a stick. Hold on one second. can use a little spear stick and you can't see the all right so let me just try to just try to make a little pattern in there so it doesn't look so white but I actually really love that negative space that it had there. All right, guys. So there you have it. It looks absolutely beautiful. I'm just cleaning off my little spatulas there. I think I want to try to make another swirl in here. Okay, that looks so beautiful, guys. Okay. All right, guys, I think this piece is done. It's totally beautiful. All right. All right, so there you have it, guys. This is beautiful. I really, really love it. I think there's a little bubble or something here. Oh, no, this, it's not a bubble. It's actually piece of something. Let me just spin that. Thank God I got that out. Mm. 
Okay, I'll probably, I think I'll take a little heat on it. Okay, I think I'll definitely take a little heat on it. Okay, this is another. Okay, there we go. Added a little piece on there. And another little piece on here. Okay, I'm gonna take it out there. Okay. This is just some of the extra paint I've scooped up on the edge, guys. And I'm actually just making like another little edge on them. Mm. Okay. I like it. Now it's complete. All right, I'm gonna get a torch. I'm gonna get a torch. Let's get a little butane torch. Okay, did I run out of heat? I think I ran out of my butane. Okay, well, I'm just going to look it over there and make sure I don't see any other extra bubbles hanging anywhere that I can, yeah, I could pick up a little bit more. I saw a little spot somewhere here. Okay, that is beautiful there. Okay, and this is just putting on the sides here of the canvas, guys. That way my piece looks finished. Wow. Totally, totally, totally beautiful, guys. Okay. So there you have it. What do you guys think? It is absolutely beautiful. I just have to set it to dry. Thanks for watching, guys. So this was a swipe.